Atmen. Hello, this is Mr. Rawson. I'm from Impal, Northeast India. And this meteorite over here, it weighs a whopping 15 kilograms in weight. And I found it a couple of months ago from a paddy field around 10 miles away from Impal. It has been under the paddy field for more than 50 to 100 years and it is a heavily weathered meteorite. And you can see this black dots over there. These are all olivine chrysals. And these are a typical of a Martian meteorite. Olivine chrysals, it contains paddocleos, titanite, feldspar, and you can see over here, these are the typical of a Martian meteorite, and these are the thumbprints known as Ragma lips. You can see the thumbprints over there, the Ragma lips. And this is a very heavy sunk of Martian meteorite. And you can see a lot of vesicles and holes over here. But some skeptics and scientists say if there is hole, that is not meteorite. That is completely ridiculous and baseless. Because Martian or lunar meteorites got lots of vesicles and holes indeed. And you can see it is a very, very old weeder rock as it has been lying on the surface of the earth for more than 100 years. And it has been recovered only till recently. Just about a few months ago, so if I'm not wrong, you can see over here the fusion cross. You can see over here, right over here, those dark colors that are the burn marks when they enter through the Earth's atmosphere. It burns, and before it hit the Earth, it had been burned totally so it's got a fusion crust but as already I had mentioned that this is a very weeder rock Martian meteorite the fusion crust has been seen only a few others are rusted since it is a stony iron meteorite and you can see the ragma lips over here the thumbprints these are the typical marks of a Martian meteorite and as you know those holes over there and this one section I cut it I file it you can see those dark green circular spots over here these are the olivine crystals which signifies that this is a Martian rock indeed you can see the olivine crystals popping out this dot you can't find this on terrestrial rocks from earth definitely this is the meteorite, this is the rock from space, it comes from Mars. It may be a circotite or it may be a SNC meteorite. It is unclassified up till now, but I'm sure this is a Martian meteorite. These are the weather fusion crusts and inside here I cut a file over here. I cut it myself this slice. You can see the circular dots over here These are a typical of a meteorite and You can see all of these textures That signifies that this is a meteorite indeed and it's of Martian origin and here When I cut it, it's about three inch deep here. You see the holes over here you can see uh, feeder like structure a strand here, here is strand that indicate that inside here the, the, the porous 
holes over here did not penetrate into this meteorite so this is completely intact and there are some organic fiber strands over here I tried to burn it with fire using lighter it can't be burned it is very resistant to fire and you cannot burn down to acids so definitely it's a strands living strands that may be uh, living once a million or billion years ago on the surface of the Mars so skeptics and scientists and meteor ride enthusiasts want to know if there exists life on Mars this is the thing you need you can study the strands over here you can prove that there was once life on Earth life on Mars I'm sorry so this will prove that there exists microorganisms organic life on Mars on Mars maybe a billion years or a couple of million years ago on the red planet this is Rosen Lee Norin I'm from Impulse thanks for watching my video have a nice day